welcome back guys in the previous video i'm telling you that how you can download the dashboard and we set up our database but we didn't uh, migrate our migrations right we will do the migrations and once more thing uh, whenever i'm implementing something here so i will not close any of the single things if i'm pausing the video so i'm uh, also shooting this uh, as in the live environment so you will uh, uh, see this like you are dedic dedicatedly uh, taking some lectures from mine right so that's why i didn't close anything and by the way my name is Tayat Riyazi and i'm the founder of career development lab where you can uh, find uh, about laravel stuff right okay this one is our database and here this one is our project and here i'm going to open the terminal and uh, the very first thing is we are going to install the laravel ui so first question arises that why i'm installing the laravel ui uh, because i will uh, use the dashboard which is built in in the bootstrap so that's why i'm preferring to use this uh, bootstrap uh, uh, that's why i'm preferring to use this laravel ui which is uh, 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 which is responsible for generating the bootstrap or login register and reset and these things right if you want to build this into the tailwind so go with the other uh, starter kit which are added in the laravel right so here i'm going to uh, install the laravel ui kit right so the command is composer require laravel slash ui and hit enter so it will grab the laravel ui package from the laravel official documentation and by the way i'm in the laravel 10 right and still this laravel ui 10 is exist in this uh, uh, laravel version right so don't hesitate to use this laravel ui it's still available uh, it's uh, uh, almost done and here uh, we need to run uh, another command which is used to generate the I uh, uh, ask of folding. What is ask of folding? It's a fancy word, right? So it means that we will generate the um, generate the login you uh, login blade, register blade, or to parent blade and stuff like that, right? So here uh, let's move to this resources views. We have only welcome blade, right? Here I'm going to execute a command and our authentication stuff will be there. So let's take eye on this. So type php artisan migrate uh, not migrate uh, ui bootstrap a ui bootstrap and then if you want to install the authentication so you can uh, add the auth flag if you don't want to do this so just remove this so it will generate it will install the laravel uh, it will install the bootstrap into the laravel so i want to also generate the authentication stuff so enter the auth let's take i'll take a look here it will update this thing and there is an other error here it's saying that ui oh i misspell this bootstrap not bootstrap sorry guys okay boots uh, t is also missing bootstrap now it's fine hit enter and yes it's now added this auth directory right which contain the password login register verify layouts directory which contain the master template of this uh, uh, laravel ui right which is which will provide us the uh, main theme and we will use this in the login dashboard and stuff like that right okay so now it's suggesting us to uh, run this npm install and npm run dev so here uh, if you are already familiar with this thing so this thing uh, you can skip this out but i'm uh, explaining this for the beginners right so why is it's asking us to install the uh, npm and do npm run dev right because we need the npm uh, which is uh, uh, if you didn't install the node.js so install the node.js into the windows or macintosh if you are using this so install the windows and then you will be able to install this npm which is a node package manager so it's require required to compile our laravel assets right laravel assets to our laravel application 
so how it's compiled the laravel uh, assets it's compiled using wheat right which is new uh, asset bundler so before this uh, uh, from laravel 8 point uh, 9.20 before these versions laravel compile the assets using uh, laravel webpack right uh, you can also say that it's a uh, laravel mix which is uh, older name is laravel mix and then it's uh, renamed with the webpack and then now it's replaced with the wheat right which is asset bundler and uh, what is the meaning of asset bundler so here there is a public directory which uh, we don't have any css directory any js directory right but if you go to this resources css and js and says right so we have these directories here and uh, these directories contain some files okay so basically we are going to tell the laravel that uh, we want to compile these uh, compile these files and want to add this into this public directory right so then it will compile this file and add this into the public directory and use these files into our project okay so now let's uh, install the npm first npm install and then after this we will run this npm run dev and let me uh, tell you that what's the difference between npm run dev and npm run build so basically npm run build uh, is used for in the when you are your application is in the development phase right so for example you are developing your application and you want to make some changes into your files right and uh, if you are uh, if you want to <clears throat> okay it's still yes it's still executing okay so if you want to uh, do some changes so you need to run this npm run dev in the background because it will compile the assets at the run time right so if you will turn this off so it will throw an error that wheat manifest dot not no, json dot not found right so if your application is completed so you can get rid of this one so first let me tell you that how you can run this out npm run dev so why we are using this npm run dev if i go here i'm going to open my application and here i'm using the laragon so laragon provide us when uh, we are creating any of the project uh, here in the ww directory so it's automatically create uh, us a domain right remote system dot test and it's not there okay what's the name of our application it's a reward system and here i have open reward system my name is correct so let me uh, restart to uh, this laragon so it will uh, create the subdomain for uh, for my project so click on this start and yes detect new project asking me here yes okay and if i now give it a refresh so it will create the domain for us and yes our application is running successfully right okay so now i want to show you that uh, if i didn't compile these files what's going to happen so let's click on this register and by the way this one is a uh, laravel 10 ui right okay now it says that wheat manifest uh, not found right so why this error is happening because we are not running the npm run dev now let's run this npm run dev so what it's going to do and yes it's compiling these files at the runtime and if i go here and give it a refresh and boom our application is working fine our files are compiling at the runtime right okay it will uh, uh, take some time to load at the one at, at once right whenever you are running it at very first time okay oh that's great our ui is now visible right but if i go here and turn this off right uh, press ctrl plus c if you are on the windows here now i close this terminal and it's not compiling the assets at the runtime so why i am explaining this too much time because these are the basic things which are a little bit confusing for the new users so that's why i'm explaining this in the deeper Way and I have also 
a complete series on it that how wheat works how you can install this wheat in the uh, Vue.js how you can install this into the React.js and uh, much more things right and I have also compiled the full theme using this uh, Vue.js so let me reference the Vue.js to you Vue with Laravel where you can install the Vue into the multiple application uh, bootstrap dashboard with wheat so i have uh, completely configured this wheat dashboard this uh, in this uh, in these seven videos right okay so uh, that's why i'm explaining it too much time because uh, a lot of people are confused uh, um, confused by this wheat right here now uh, we turn this off and it's uh, uh, if i give it a refresh it will throw an error that wheat manifest.json not found yes throwing this error so why this throwing this error because we are in, uh, in the uh, development phase so we need to run this uh, npm run dev every time but uh, if we don't want to change the things into the register login and these things so there is another command which is used for and which is used for compile your files and add them into the public directory here right it will create a build directory and add your all of the files here right so do you want to add them here so what's the uh, issue if you add them here so you need to do one extra step for this uh, if i go here and run this npm run build it will compile my all files and add them into the public directory right so it's running so let's take eye on this directory it will add a build directory which contain the css js files and CSS file transforming this and it will add this uh, in a minute okay yes and yes it's added the build directory which contain the assets and this one is uh, css js files manifest file right okay so it's added this build directory so now what's the drawback for example you will change uh, into this uh, home directory or your login directory or register uh, register blade so if you are changing something these changes will not be reflected uh, here right if i go ahead and give it a refresh it will work but if i change something login to admin login so it wouldn't change anything why because we compiled our files and added here right so it will not take any effect so if i i want to take some uh, i want to recompile my files so i need to run this again npm run build so then it will recompile all of the files and add them again in the public directory and my all of the css and js will work right so in this way you can uh, you can uh, compile your file using npm run dev or you can also use this using production npm run build right and here i'm going to first migrate my uh, migrate my uh, migrations using php artisan migrate because we don't have any data uh, any tables in the database right so i want to create some tables uh, because i want to log in my user migrate and yes it's migrated and before the migration uh, you need to add your database name in the env file we added this in the very first video right so that's why i'm not adding this uh, again so here if i go ahead and give it a refresh and yes we have user table uh, we have other uh, tables like for migration for password field job and stuff like that right so why these uh, other uh, tables are there because these comes by default with the laravel so we didn't edit any new migration okay so here we need to register one user which will be logged into this system and then we will work further so here i'm going to uh, log in myself here diet niazi and uh, here i'm going to enter my uh, enter our company official email contact at the rate of cdlcell.com if you are facing some problem you can contact us or if you want to develop some applications you can also contact us using this our official email okay so here i'm going to implement this uh, uh, register and yes i'm now logged in 
okay here it says that you are logged in and uh, my name is Dayat Niazi and I am successfully logged in into this uh, dashboard right so in this way you can register your users log in into system and everything is working fine right so we completed our first step very uh, successfully and I uh, hope you uh, like this video if you like this video share your feedback that uh, is this series is uh, suitable for you and uh, do you want to still want to uh, learn from this series so i will add more things into this series which i discussed in the very first video and if you like these videos click on like button and also subscribe to the channel so i will meet you in the next video bye bye